All right, I want you guys to go uh, support Piston Mike. Y'all go to the subscribe button. He at 480 right now. Let's get him to 1,000, 100,000, 500,000, million subscribers as soon as possible, Ben. Let's help him put it down. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. If you like the Pistons, you want to support me, think about sending me a donation. The uh, best way you can help me right now is go subscribe over to Piston Mike and go uh, help him get his numbers up, putting in work, hard work, smart work, dedicated work, consistent work. So make sure you go over there and appreciate that work. So remember, the name is Piston Mike, and I have a link in the description. If you have a problem uh, finding it on YouTube, it'll be under source link or Piston Mike channel link in the description. Peace. All right, I'm going around the Lions considered taking office alignment number two overall. They said the Lions, the Lions draft from Brad Holmes and easily draft Evan Nils or Ekum and Kawanu, which would be a big mistake, like I said before. The Lions continue to draft shit that, at the top of the draft. That makes no sense, all right? They've been doing this, and I proved this already. If I had to prove it again, I'll prove it again. They've been doing this uh, drafting offensive linemen for the last 10 or 12 years, bro. They've been doing the same stuff for the last 10 or 12 years. People say, well, you I agree. No, they keep taking They scared. They scared to go find. They scared to make a move. They keep making these safe moves. When you keep making safe moves, you scared to win. You're scared to take a chance. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you can't draft, right? If you can't draft, um, you know, if you can't draft, then you gotta be good, like uh you gotta be good like uh like Bill Belichick and just take resalvaging players, you know what I'm saying from other places. That's the honest truth. But you know, like I like I said before, it, it just don't make no sense taking another tackle, bro. Once you once I, you know, hold on. Once I break it down the way I'm about to break it down, man, it just makes it makes zero sense. It it makes zero sense, bro. Because people say, well, you know, uh, you know, we could trade Taylor Decker for what? You just paid him. You don't, you're not taking a guard number two overall. That makes zero sense, right? Well, he could eventually move the tackle. I mean, you, it, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense, bro. Look across your offensive line. You got, right now, you got three first rounders. You got three first rounders across your offensive line. Suell, Ragnall, Decker. Right, you done took countless other first rounders. This line been building for years. People were talking, well, they need a Stephanie line or Jared Goff need a line. No, y'all need no. You need a quarterback that can get the hell out the way and move. At this point, you've been taking offensive linemen for a lifetime. Check this out. Hold on, let me take a lineman for an hour. Let me show y'all this before I even get to this dumb article. Not dumb article. Look at this. You took an offensive lineman in twenty twenty one. Right. You took a corner top three, which was dumb. You took a tight end in 2019. That's basically an office alignment, stash receiver. You took another office alignment in 18. You took an inside linebacker in 17. You took another lineman in uh, 2016 in Taylor Decker. You took a lineman in 15 before that. You took another tight end before that. You took a defensive lineman in Zigiansa before that. You took another tackle before that. Another defensive lineman before that, defensive lineman, staff in the 09. You have been taking the same stuff. And what's changed? Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. You still don't have star power. No matter how great your offensive line is, if your quarterback is trash, he trash. But it says, why many Detroit Lions fans are playing believe the team should target an edge? Russell with the number two overall pick in 2022 draft. It is not out the question for that general manager, Brad Holmes, could decide to go in a completely different direction. The recent pro football focus mailbag, the line selecting office alignment was explored. NFL writer Doug Keat explained in his response, quote, I've been saying this for nearly a month now, but I still think there's a strong possibility it will be Liberty's quarterback Malik Willis. If not, however, then I wouldn't write off the possibility of the Lions taking an offense alignment, whether that's Ekam, Inamu, whatever his name is, Evan Neal, a league source I spoke to recently raised that possibility. Last season, Detroit invested in Penisa Will with the number seven all picks, solidifying the right side of the offensive line. 
Could the team look to make an offensive line even more dominant by selecting one or two elite linemen who are both projected to be top 10 this year? Quote, yes, the Lions should just took Panisa Will to seven raw pick of 2021 NFL draft and still have Taylor Decker at left tackle and then left. Ikawanu and Neil both have the ability to play guard and in interim and still can slide off the offensive tackle once Decker, who will be 29 years old, parts with the team. Guards Jonah Jackson and Highlight Hot Big V held their own last year, but Jackson, but Jackson struggled in, at times in the sophomore campaign. Both draft prospects possess the ability to be all around linemen who, uh, are, the, who are able to play multiple positions along the offensive line. With the Lions run game still needing to take uh, one more step forward to become a top 10 in the league consistently, drafting the offensive linemen is an interesting proposition. While upgrading can defense is a priority, adding another lineman could just uh, could just be what quarterback Jared Goff needs to earn long term stand. No, it's not. No, it's the fuck is not. I'm not even gonna let that line go. No, he's trash. He's trash. And he's the reason why the run game ain't top ten because he couldn't throw. He trash. So, like I said, they want to keep doing the same thing they've been doing and not taking risks. You know, you can find a, a serviceable offensive line later, day three. You can find one day two if you explore that. But you've been doing, no matter if it's Holmes, Mayhew, Bob Quinn, they've been doing the same thing. They've been rebuilding the trenches on both sides of the football, on both sides of the football for a lifetime. So it is what it is. They've been rebuilding the trenches forever. You know, it just makes no sense, bro. If if your quarterback can throw, it would have been a top 10 running offense. If you pick a running back to get a damn ball to, you'd have a 1,000-yard back. Like I said before, you know, it is what it is. They've been playing, they've been playing the dumb and safe for years. Even when people talking about taking the edge, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? But people talking about taking the edge. Edges are getting traded and getting flipped around the NFL like flapjacks. Pancakes for people who don't know what flapjacks is. They've been getting traded around the league forever. You know, they've been getting moved forever. You know, they don't win championships. They help win championships and close games, but the a collect, a front seven is a collective front. You know, it's a collective effort. But, I mean, at the end of the day, if they do it, they do it. Then you got your left tackle of the, uh, of the future. That's the bright side to it. But the offensive line, people say, well, you know, he got sacked. Well, you got to understand they had an injury to left tackle days before their first game. Not a preseason game, day before the first game. So, Will had to make an adjustment to left tackle. Then that Jonah Jackson had to make an adjustment, too, because you're playing with a new left tackle. Frank Ragnall got injured. And despite all of that, you know, Nelson and Evan Brown and guys that came in there, they played pretty well. The Rams don't have the best offensive line. The Bengals didn't have the best offensive line. You know what I'm saying? Take some time. You've been drafting linemen forever. In the last 10 years, in the first round, they drafted one lineman. You want to count tight end as a line? We can count it. Center. Well, let's just say the line. They took a one tackle, two tackle, three tackle, four guard, five. They took five offensive tackles in the last 10 years and two tight ends. They are an extension of, of the uh, line. So in, 12, in the last 10 drafts, they took five offensive linemen, I believe four being tackles. They took two tight ends. That's seven. That's seven first round picks that went into the offensive line and tight end. Then, if you factor red, they took a defensive lineman, right? One. You know, they took a cornerback, you know, and they took an inside linebacker. There you go. There you go. All these are first round draft picks. All these guys are first round draft picks. 
Ó, Alain. Ó, Alain. So, I mean, you keep doing the same thing. What needs to change? You want to know why they lack star power? Because they keep putting capital in the same position, and they keep missing. Evan Brown, Evan Neal, can you get Conquer Waka? Probably be going might go down the greatest basketball football player ever live. Who knows? But you keep drafting the same position. Oh, we got to get the trenches there. We got to get the trenches. We all ain't been doing a good job. Either the players you pick suck or y'all development suck because Lincoln Thompson went on to be Lincoln Thompson went on to be a good uh, football player for the 49ers. I don't know if he got picked up in free agency yet, but he went on to be a good football player. Solid. No, but they they just scared to take star power. Years of taking receivers first round and some working and none not working. They just scared to take a chance. You know, do something that ain't been done before. Get you get you the quarterback. They ain't been done what? Take your quarterback. Sit him on the bench, right? Sit his ass on the bench and let him get better. Let him get better. Simple as that. Let him get because golf ain't the ain't the answer. He's not the long term answer. If he if he not the long term answer in LA, why would he be the long term answer in Detroit? And L.A. had hella talent over the years. Just think about it. People don't come to Detroit and usually get better if you're not named Glover Quinn. Honestly. They don't. So, I don't understand that. I don't, but it is what it is, but they want to keep doing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. Take the damn quarterback and move on. Because Hutchinson ain't the answer. Hot character don't win football game. It don't. Sorry. Need somebody can play. But they take offensive linemen. Like I said before, man. This is what it is. You can improve with already a strength. That's what they will be doing. They'll be taking the best player available. I don't agree with it, but it is what it is. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think about it. But uh they just be improving the strength. That's what they would be doing. But like I said, people talking about the edge and all that, man. Edges don't win. Edges help win championship, but great defenses all together. I know the front end work with the back and the back work with the front, but if you do take somebody, I think Kibido talent is the best talent in this draft. When you put the skit ready to play right away and physically. But my favorite pass rusher I've seen so far is Jermaine Johnson. I don't think. You know, the sky's the limit for both of them. It's just that a lot of people don't like that Kibido giving off clowny vibe and effort issue vibes. But, you know, what I've seen is he get hella effort. But like I said, before it be up for them, but I would just take the quarterback, man. People talking about next year. If next year you're in a position to get somebody better, you just do what Arizona did and they flip them. Let them compete, then flip them. You know, people love to keep taking corners, love to keep taking defensive linemen, love to keep taking tight ends. Let it keep taking offensive linemen, but what about keep taking quarterbacks? It ain't no law against that shit. Because golf, he ain't been extended. They ain't restructuring him yet, which I'm waiting for him to do that. Let Malik Willis learn behind golf for a minute. And then next then you get to rolling. 
Got a lot of picks this year, next year, but we'll see, man. But um, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check Detroit Lions Talk playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. You go live or drop a video. Um, you want to make us uh, up? Want to uh, find me on social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsor, video quest, all links, subscription, want to make a financial donation, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link, description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.